Hello and welcome to PowerPoint Training Online, where today we've got another tutorial for you. But before we get into that, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. Also, don't forget to hit the notification button, that way then you will get to always get a notification when we produce our latest videos. Now, let's get into it. Today in our weekly video, we are going to show you how to remove the background from an image. Now, I've got a picture of an apple here on a plate with a background. I've got this from the internet. Don't worry, it is completely credited and I'm allowed to use it. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to keep the plate and the apple. I didn't want the textured background behind it. So it is really easy in PowerPoint now to remove the background of an image. And it's not even just the background. You could remove more if you wanted to. You, you don't need tools like Photoshop anymore to do this for you. You can do it all in PowerPoint. So to do it, all you need to do is select your image, go to the Format tab, and then on the left-hand side on the ribbon, you're going to see Remove Background. So automatically remove unwanted portions of the picture. If needed, use marks in the key areas to keep remove or remove from the picture. Once you press that button, you'll notice the ribbon will change. The ribbon will, get, will have four options. It will have mark areas to keep, mark areas to remove, discard all changes, and keep changes. Now, the beauty of this is no matter what you do, you can reset the picture afterwards. So if you remove part of the background and you're not happy with it, you can bring it back in. There's absolutely no issue with that. So you can see now part of my image has also gone purple or pink now. The reason for this is this is what is going to be removed from the image. So if I were to press keep changes now, you'll see that it's removed the background, but it's also removed chunks of the plate as well, which is something that I don't want. It looks scruffy, it doesn't look professional, it doesn't look clean and tidy anymore. So if I reset the picture, press the reset picture button, and that'll bring it all back up. And I go back and press on remove background. I can now, I now have the option of selecting the areas I would like to remove. To do this, I can say, I can mark areas I'd like to keep. So if I press that, you'll see now it's highlighted. And I come over here, I've got a little pen tool. I can now draw the areas around the areas that I would like to keep. And you'll notice it's changed. It's kept more of the area. And again, if I bring it over around here, give it a moment and it will keep more of the area. So if I press keep changes here, you'll notice that there's still some parts of the outline missing at the plate. However, what I really want to see is there are parts of the plate that are a part of the back. There's parts of the background still there. So you can see up here, there's part of the background still there. So again, if I click on format on picture, click on format and then go to remove background. I can then select an area that I like to remove and you see this it'll paint with a red line and you'll notice then that it will cut out part of the background that I'm painting over. Again, you can zoom in so you can get a better view of what it is that you want to write off the picture. Again, if I come down here, mark areas to keep. I want to keep that bit. And I want to keep that bit there. And that has now, and if I press, once that's done, press keep all changes. Zoom back out. You'll now see I've got a much tidier looking picture. Okay, down the bottom still needs fixing, so we can fix that. Areas to keep. And go down here, and if I just draw my outline to the circle of the plate, and then that, give it a moment, and then that will fix that for us. Keep changes, and I've now got a circle of a plate. I've got my plate, and I've got my apple. I've got no background. And again, you can then move that around the place. You can change the size of it, do whatever you want to do. That is now yours to use. You've now got, you can also put in shadows and stuff like that. And instead of shadowing behind the background, it doesn't do that. It will shadow behind the image that you've got left. So it completely cuts out what you remove. So if I can add it, if I add in a shadow like this one here. So you can now see I've got a shadow on my plate. Again, that just brings it, makes it look a bit clearer as if it's more of a plate and it, this picture just helps stand out a bit more. Thank you for watching everybody. Hopefully you learned something today. If you would like to see more of our videos, 
don't forget to hit, hit the subscribe button. Also, hit the notification button. That way then you'll always get an update when we release a new video. And if you found this video was helpful for you, then please hit the like button. Let everybody else know that you liked it. See you soon, guys. Bye-bye.